Hello, everyone. Yeah, I know it's, uh, I don't make vlogs, uh, as often. Excuse the mess. <clears throat> Anyways, I, um, I've been watching some of these YouTube videos, and they were talking about, um, Anita's, uh, feminist frequency. And, okay, I... <sighs> I was laying down and, you know, I have to make this video. I have to speak my mind about uh, women and video games. You know, he talked about, uh, he, sh you know, showed clips. Because I had come across her videos a while back and I started watching them. I'm like, oh my god. And I just turned it off because it, it's just like, <laughs> it's, to me, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard just because okay first <clears throat> you know she talks about things like princess zelda and princess peach all right first of all there are just certain games are <sighs> there's certain games that are just best when the character you the character you are playing is male like i don't I don't think I would enjoy a game where I'm Zelda or I'm Peach saving Link or Mario. I just don't. And the reason that, you know, you're saving them and they're all, you know, come off as more of a girly girl is they're princess. They're not meant to go out and fight. And you know what? If you look in the, you know, for people that watched the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, the Zelda cartoon. Princess Zelda, you know, did just fine on her own. But I wouldn't want to play them as, you know, to go and save, you know, Mario or Link. I just, no, 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 no. And being that, like, Super Mario Brothers 3 and A Link to the Past are, like, my all-time, you know, like, my all-time favorites, Mario Brothers 3 takes the top and then it's Link's Awakening although it's very hard to choose between because they're great they're great series but you know when it comes down to it honestly even if you change the way women are perceived in games it's not gonna change the way women are treated in online gaming or it just you know in in general, it doesn't accomplish anything. It doesn't... Honestly, what purpose would it serve if you go and change stuff? Because, okay, let's, let's like, take a look. You know, we have God of War, and then we had uh, Heavenly Sword, which were pretty much the same thing. I mean, you had the female version there. But then it's like... Oh, well, you know, it's too skimpy of an outfit, and that's just, that's sexist. No, it's not. Okay, depending on the situation, if you have, if you're doing a lot of movement, movement, having heavy armor wouldn't make sense. I mean, there are some games I figure, I think, you know, the armor's a little too skimpy, but I, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to play the game. I'm totally against this because... Ugh, skimpy armor. No, forget that. Forget it. But, you know, it's like, and then, you know, you'll have a conversation, and then it, it comes back to Grand Theft Auto and, you know, hurting prostitutes. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me, let me take a drink of my coffee. Now, being a at least last time I checked, I'm, I'm a chick, female, woman, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to identify me as. I, you know, I'm <laughs> that gender. I don't know about any other, you know, uh, uh, females that, out there that play games, but I go around and I, I pick up the prostitutes. Um, I would pick up the prostitutes and then run them over or some. I mean, <laughs> it's just the game. It doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know what, this is so fun in this game. I'm just gonna totally go out and steal a car and 
Go pick up some prostitutes. It's meant for mature audiences. By then, you should know right from wrong. And as I, okay, as I see it, if you do something from a video game, in my opinion, there's something, there's like a chemical imbalance already in your, inside your brain. Like, you, you know, you, that could you could have done that without pl ever playing games. It would have just happened later on. I don't believe video games are the reason people take the take the actions they do. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and the whole changing anything, changing video game stories, chopping them up to you know flip the rolls or whatever, it's just ridiculous. Won't serve any purpose. And if anything, companies might lose money because you're Oh my goodness, Rayma. I'm trying to be serious here and you're scratching the ground. Um companies could lose money because people enjoy playing, you know, Link playing Mario, playing Kratos, I mean, come on, let's think about this. Imagine Max Payne as a female. I, who wants to see, like, a, a kind of like a washed up female cop that drinks and, you know, ended up shaving their head? No one. And, um, I, at least I don't. I really like Max Payne. And you know what? It's, it's a guy. Oh my goodness! And you know, if you, <sighs> there are no benefits to being either gender when playing games. If you go into an online match, uh, whether it be shooter or anything else, because I mean, I I mean I've played shooters, um, you know, multiplayer matches and. Got called names, but that does not gonna make me stop playing games. No. I mean, why would I stop playing games because I got called names? That's just no. I enjoy games too much. I played them growing up. That is just I love games. But the thing is, I don't think women are gonna get anything out of everything being changed. You know, like, <clears throat> women, like feminists, they used to fight for, you know, the rights for voting, um, you know, jobs, you know, pay, you know, wages, you know, fighting for stuff that's, you know, going to affect your life. Changing the story of a video game is going to have no consequences to your life. Especially if you don't play games. How does that affect you? It doesn't. Video games are a way for people to escape. Not everyone, but a lot of people use them to escape what's going on, you know, for that moment. Escape whatever, you know, could be, it could be something bad. Just, you know, let people have that. I do not want my games to change. You know, the reason there are genres of games is so you don't have to play ones you shoot people, ones you're cutting somebody's head off, you know, puzzle, you know, solving, being a cop, you know, any of that. I mean, that's why you, you have things out there. And that's why you have things like the casual games, you know, like they have on Facebook or whatever. And they have like simulators and stuff now. But I honestly could say I would be absolutely furious. And you know, I thought about something as far as Grand Theft Auto goes. You know, people, you, you hear people complain about the... The, the violence in it. Okay, so if it was your just an average female, like, you know, 
completely cover yourself, and you go around beating the crap out of male prostitutes, wouldn't it be just the same thing? You know, I mean, instead of uh, women getting whatever, it'd be men. I like, I just, <laughs> any anyone that complains about games in any shape or form, it, it, it makes me laugh because... <laughs> because, yeah, I've already said I've, all I'm going to say about it. But, you know, that's just how I feel. And I just, it frustrates me that people like to blame games. It's like, find a real, you know, find a um, real life, you know, things to fix. Not fictional Made up worlds don't affect real life. They just don't. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, that's my, uh, my, a lot of sense because I, it's more than two cents. And sorry, this video is so long. It just, it frustrates me. It really does. I'm, I'm a fem I'm female. I game, and I have no problem with the ga with games or media. If if how a woman is treated in a game or perceived in the game, a movie, a TV show, a book, anything, if you have a problem with it and you're female, that's your problem. Just because you have a problem with it doesn't mean any every other female is going to have a problem with it. You know, it's just like, there's just certain things, like when it comes to entertainment, one person shouldn't feel like they have the right to speak for everyone out there. Because, I mean, I'm sure I could find other, you know, other females that feel the same way about games. I'm sure they're out there. And, you know, the only way to change, like, as far as, like, online goes, is just for people to be nicer. But that's not going to happen. You have your uh, wide range and variety of people. And that's it's just never going to change. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to cut this video off now. You've heard my opinion. I know everyone's heard uh, plenty of opinions on the matter, but, you know, I just, I couldn't sleep and I needed, I just needed to get off my mind. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Um, maybe I'll make another rant about video games, depending on um, how, uh, uh, how well this video is liked or hated. <laughs> I don't know. Because I have a few other topics. Anyways, I will uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, take care and feel free to leave a comment complaining, I guess, if you want, feel the need to or agreeing. Because I'm sure there's going to be people that agree and disagree. Anyways, take care, guys. I'm cutting it off now. Bye.